hey everyone welcome back on the channel again welcome back to another xss frame generation video today we are back with silent hill f now this skin might look a little funny to you uh, in an horror game but yeah i have used it anyway uh, so the game uh, does not comes with any kind of uh, frame generation it only have uh, dlss and fsr upscaler dlss is also stuck at 3.7 so if you want to use newer dlss you can paste uh, the dll uh, and if you want to use newer uh, fsr4 uh, that will be included in the mod uh, now i will show two methods to use the frame generation one will be with the upscaler to xcfg and the second one will be a hidden fsr fg to xcfg as the game have a hidden uh, fsr frame generation uh, like the developers maybe will patch it after few days or few weeks or something there is an update for that so right now the setting i am playing is on 1080p with uh, everything set on high dlss on quality uh, so yeah this will be a very interesting video let's uh, start this one without any delay now all right after quitting we will see two zips on the desktop uh, one is shf engine files and one is shf fsr4 to xssfg mod uh, so first we're gonna extract the engine files now why am i extracting the engine before the mod i will tell you in a second so after extracting you will see two folders here one will say fsrfg to xcfg and one will say upscaler to xcfg now we will use uh, fsrfg to xcfg which is the hidden fsrfg uh, and you can use this upscaler to xcfg uh, i will show you this one first just the quick step but i will not test it in this video because it will be too long so you, if you want to just see the FSRFG to XFG, you can skip the video a little bit forward. So first, uh, we're going to copy this uh, engine.ini, then gonna go to run menu, press Windows plus R, and in here type in percentage app data percentage, press OK. You will be landed into the roaming folder. We will need to go one step back. So click on app data, then go inside local and uh, press s on your keyboard you will be landed on s folder so go inside shf then saved config windows now in here you may find engine.ini file you may not find engine.ini file now if you don't have any engine.ini file you can just copy this and paste it here and after that right click go to properties click on the read only and press on apply now if you already have an engine.ini file for suppose uh, now i'm going to delete it for one second and suppose uh, this one is the engine.ini so what you need to do you need to open the engine.ini which i provided in the mod uh, you need to copy it then open the engine.ini in the games folder and come to the end of this uh, text file like where the text is ending now press two times enter one two and in here you need to paste the text you just copied from the engine.ini after that click on file click on save and again uh, after saving uh, you need to again make that read only because the game will convert back to the default one so yeah uh, this is the step if you have engine.ini or not uh, so i'm going to use the fsrfg to xcfg i just showed you like you can paste this one if you want to use upscaler to xcfg but i will paste this fsrfg to xcfg so i'm going to paste it right here then right click properties read only apply ok all right now engine.ini file is done now we will extract the mod and i will also show you both ways uh, which you can install the xfg so first copy all the files go to the for me which is here silent lf after that shf binaries win64 and paste all the mod files here then we're gonna install the optiscaler like plain old method one dxgi enter select your gpu amd intel 1 nvidia 2 i have nvidia pressing 2 then press enter press any key to continue then we're gonna go inside uh, optiscolor.ini open it with any kind of notepad or text editor now if you have pasted this upscaler to xcfg what you need to do here is uh, put 
upscaler in the input section and xcfg in the output section but since we have put fsr fg to xcfg we will put here fsr fg as the input and xcfg as the output then we click on file click on save and close the file now do not uh, play the game from this uh, win64 shipping.exe play the all right one quick fix uh, if you face crashing issue like this uh, while starting up the game you double click and it will crash like this uh, what you need to do you need to right click then click on send to click on desktop shortcut and in here you will find another uh, text file i will mention that in the description so you need to open that copy the text from the file then right click go to properties of the desktop created shortcut then come into the target area uh, click at the end of the text file and press a space one time like this after that right click paste click on apply click on ok and after that when you play from the desktop shortcut your game will not crash anymore now i will dive back in the game and i'll show you how you can activate the frame generation and we will also test how much fps we're getting with the mod get silent hill f deluxe edition at just 249 rupees and get fc26 ultimate edition early access at just 249 rupees all right i am back inside the game and uh, now what we will need to do uh, you just need to press ins slash insert and you will see active button but it will tell you to restart the game once so just click on active uh, you will see frame is being generated but it is recommended to restart the game just one time so click on save ini and restart the game real quick all right restarted the game and you can see frame is already being generated i will make the opti overlay a little bit bigger so you guys can see it more clear uh, all right now you can see frame generation is active and there is no need of additional hood fix since, since it is uh, being input as fsr 3.1 fg which is hidden in the game and output as xcfg but if you use the upscaler to xcfg you will need the hood fix so hood fix will be somewhere here in that version of that mod so you need to click on active and you need to also activate the hood fix i'll just quickly run around and show you the debug view also uh, I'll activate the debug view real quick. <coughs> Alright, so this is the debug view. Uh, you can see there is no hood flickering or anything. Uh, if you want to test if the frame rate is legit or not, you can just lock the FPS to 60 in here and uh, click on apply limit and move the camera a bit around. Uh, if you think the camera movement is very slow, sluggish, like 30 FPS, then the frames are fake but if you see the cameras are totally smooth then this video and the frame is totally legit uh, you can change youtube's quality to 720p 60 fps uh, to test the video's smoothness and everything uh, so yeah i guess this will be it for this video now if this helps you consider subscribing and liking the video if you are facing issue comment down below join discord for cheap games netflix subscription and everything and i'll see you guys in the next one